You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. Thanks to Concordia University, Wisconsin for supporting The Coffee Hour. Find out more about Concordia University, Wisconsin at cuw.edu. Live Uncommon. Our guest today, you might recognize her voice. <laughs> she is one of the co-hosts of the Lutheran Ladies Lounge, also director of short-term missions with LCMS International Mission, Erin Aaron Alter. Welcome back to The Coffee Hour. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. <laughs> so why did we invite Erin today? Because International Mission is doing something really cool. Mm-hmm. If you haven't checked out on the KFUO website, in our LCMS Partner Podcast column, there was a new series that dropped. When did that drop? The was when it did that April? publish? Was it last, I think this it was past in spring. May. Was it May? I think it was in May by the time it finally... That sounds right. Like beginning of May, I yeah. think. Yeah. Five Minutes with a Missionary, a new podcast series from LCMS International Mission. Really fun and um, it just engaging. Where did the idea for this begin, Erin? Well, we wanted to do something that would allow people to hear more about missionary life um, and and literally hear about it because missionaries have newsletters and that's <laughs> definitely a great way to learn about their ministry. But we wanted to do something that would give people a little more informal glimpse into what their what their lives are like day to day. And so we thought on oh, the podcast, we should we should try the podcast. Uh, podcasts are Everyone loves a podcast, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we thought, let's let's give it a try. Um, and so we decided on just short, because missionaries are busy people, so, so make them just five minutes in length uh, and give them a topic. And then we thought it would be really interesting to hear the different, some of the similarities and differences around the world on the same topic. Uh, So the first season, the topic was home. And we asked missionaries to sort of consider that. We gave them some different possibilities of angles that they could take. But they all took very different uh, different approaches to it. And it was interesting to see some of the, the common threads, but also some of the differences um, from region to region and even within the region, um, country to country. So what are the different regions for LCMS International Mission? Sure. We divide the world up into four regions. We've got Africa, Asia, Eurasia, and Latin America, and the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Uh, Those are our four regions. Mm -hmm. So who were the missionaries in season one who covered these different areas? So for Eurasia, we had Kim Beltman and Ben Helge. And for Asia, we had the Ferry family. Uh, It's actually Pastor Ferry and his wife, as well as one of his kids, Mm -hmm. uh, joined. We had the Seamas, Stephen Oliver, and Sandra Rhine. And for Africa, we heard from Johanna Stinnett. We actually heard from her a few times. Mm -hmm. And for Latin America, we heard from the Neuendorfs. So really, we heard from all the regions, which is really exciting. Now, you mentioned that you gave them the opportunity to take a couple of different angles on this topic of home. Mm -hmm. So what were some of the things that they found worth sharing in their podcast? Yeah, so... Kim Beltman talked about what it's like to basically set up a new home in Germany. And one of the unique challenges there is that uh, apartments in Germany, they have a room for a kitchen, but it has nothing from like there's no cabinets there's no sink there's no refrigerator there's no lights there's wires that you can (laughs) hook up lights to but one of the things you do when you move into a new place is you build your kitchen the way you want it and so she talked about what that's like (laughs) oh my um to to do that uh in (laughs) I hadn't thought about uh, that. Things you take for granted when you live in the United States. Not in America. Anymore. Exactly. But I mean to an extent, it's you take it for granted as if we think that's a helpful thing, but 
also you get to custom right, like right. fully customize it to your needs in this case in in Germany and apparently that's typical in a lot of Europe. So fascinating. Hmm. Um in the case of oh Johanna Stinnett shared about her home in Ethiopia and to get the initial podcast going, it took us, there was a long planning period and we were gathering episodes slowly. We were sort of, there were there was a lot that went into developing it uh, to get it ready. And so by the time we were closer to moving along, um, Johanna had described this home and it was beautiful. However, there had been uh, it was it was a tragedy. Happily, it didn't actually have tragic results for her immediate family, but her home was lost in a flood. And we felt <laughs> that was known enough from newsletters and social media that there really ought to be a follow-up <laughs> episode mm-hmm. explaining what had happened. Um, and so we asked her if she would she would actually record a follow-up to to finish more of the story. And so she did that. Uh, We had another situation uh, somewhat similar in Ben Helge was describing looking for a new home because he was about to get married. Well, again, (laughs) in the course of the planning, enough time went by that he had actually gotten married. And at the end of his initial podcast recording, um, they were still looking for a home, and he was trusting that God would provide what they needed. And lo and behold, uh, the home was provided exactly what they were needed uh, needing, and it was actually one that they had really was their first choice, and they thought it was not a possibility. So we asked him, could he record a little little epilogue that we could <laughs> <laughs> we could tack on at the end of the episode to give the update that in fact they were now in an apartment um, and were expecting their their first baby, and um, all of that was was great. Um, so Neuendorf's talked about what it's like. They've been missionaries now for for quite a number of years, and they've been missionaries long enough that they have started feeling that weird disconnect of, is their home in the U.S., or is it in their country where they're serving. And when they visit the U.S. now, it does feel more like their home is in Puerto Rico, and now they feel more like foreigners in the U.S. And that's a disconcerting experience as a missionary to make that shift. It doesn't happen immediately. Um, And so they discussed that sort of sense of where do they belong and what feels most at home and when do they not feel at home. Uh, so that was really interesting, too. Mm-hmm. I love these little snippets. Yeah. If you haven't listened, please go listen, because now I'm, <laughs> I want to go back and listen, because it's been so long since we played the first I know. season. <laughs> but it's, each episode is just about, well, it's a little more than five minutes. The, the missionaries talking is the five minutes part, and then we give a little bit of background um, before it. So it doesn't yeah. take long to listen. You can do that pretty easily. You can, like, knock out an entire season while yeah. you clean the house on a Saturday. <laughs> like Absolutely. <laughs> Or as you say in the promo, it, the amount of time it takes to what unload the dishwasher. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's perfect. Or pick yeah. up the dry clean. Right. Right. Yes. <laughs> it's fantastic. Okay. So season two is coming out very soon. Very soon. Can you give us the sneak peeks? Yeah. So season two is on the topic of getting to know people. Ooh. And so we asked missionaries to consider that. And we've got some great episodes um, Callie Wood is going to be episode one, and she talks about what it's like to get to know people in Indonesia and how the fact that in, Indone- in Indonesia, the get to know you questions feel really awkward and personal for <laughs> Americans. <laughs> but she explores that and sort of unpacks why it actually makes good sense, the questions that they ask and how that really helps to lead to these closer relationships um, in a very practical way in Indonesia. 
So that was fascinating. Making I really Americans enjoyed that uncomfortable. One. Exactly. Good at that, too. <laughs> Maybe you should consider Indonesia, Andy. I'm just saying with the coffee hour, we're yeah, good at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we also have another missionary kid join us for a podcast oh. this next time. This time we have Liza Wildauer, oh. who talks with her dad, Micah Wildauer. They serve in Belize. And talk about what it's like for her to make friends and how does that work. Um, I'll give you a hint. It's actually very similar to kids here in the U.S. Uh, kids, <laughs> apparently, that that's one that really spans cultures. Uh, getting to know, <laughs> getting to know people as as kids uh, probably gets more complicated as adults. Um, probably, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then we also have an episode, another sort of first one. We have an alliance missionary, Pastor Walterson Sievert, who serves in Peru. He talks about uh, what it's like, and he he also has crossed a culture. Um, He is not originally from Peru, and at this very moment, naturally, I'm like blanking on his country of origin. (laughs) Nope, it's not going to come to me. Uh, <laughs> but he he talks about what it what it was like for him to come to Peru and uh, the challenges that he experienced in getting to know people in this culture that is not his own. Um, but again, has a has a lot of great um, insight for us. Uh, so I, it's going to be a good season. The I'm concept excited. is brilliant. So season two is dropping fairly soon. Yes. So. What you need to do is, if you haven't gotten season one yet, go find season one of Five Minutes with a Missionary from KFUO Radio. You can find it there in LCMS International Mission. Find it on the KFUO website, the KFUO app, anywhere you get podcasts. Um, You can subscribe if you're using other podcast platforms. That way you'll automatically get season two Mm -hmm. when that drops. And the fun thing about how this podcast is delivered is when we have a season ready, the whole season is just published in the yes. same day. Yes. So like one after another, like uh-huh. a minute after another, uh, they, they all just show up on the same day. So you could binge listen to an entire mm. season, which is fun. Mm-hmm. You could. Now, so season two is coming out very soon Yeah. Um, in the month of September, correct? Yes. Good Lord willing, yes. everything goes <laughs> exactly. as planned. In the exactly. month of September, season two will drop. Season three is in Hot the works as well. Heels. Yes, oh. I'll Exciting. give you the hint on that one. The topic is critters and wildlife. <gasps> yes, yeah, it's going to be fun. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. Uh, Might need so. to talk with the domestic missionary about this too. <laughs> oh, some here in the states, it would be, be pretty entertaining. <laughs> Again, five minutes with the missionary. Find it at uh, kfuo.org under the LCMS Partners podcast on the KFUO app or anywhere you get your podcasts. Aaron, thank you so much for this. Just one, sharing this brilliant idea of a podcast and making it a reality. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much for being our guest on the Coffee Hour today. It's my pleasure. Thank you. You're listening to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. 